Oh my guys, welcome back. All this wahala going on in the house, in Biggie's house right now. Oh my, yesterday a whole lot happened from CC to Alice to Venita and Pere, Ilabaye and Oral. Like a lot is going on. And before the end of the show, I think Biggie have to come down and address the house one on one. Since I definitely don't want to address what is going on. Yesterday was a whole lot. CC and Alice fought. Earl and Elabaye stroke them um, doing fought. Venita and Perry fought. And looking at all these fights, I don't know if it's intentional, if they want to create highlights because um, Venita fought with Perry and these two people worked together outside the house just recently before they came inside the house. And um, this production, this movie production that Perry handled, Venita played the lead role in that they had a relationship outside the house why are they just fighting for little things i think this house made intentionally sometimes want to create highlights they just want to trend for maybe a day or two but i know that this season is going to be power packed a whole lot of drama and entertainment but something in me was telling me that no these people know themselves outside the house they're going to have respect for each other they're going to behave maturely but no guys they are giving it back to back to each other anybody that crossed the line so the red meat in the house which is a labaye <laughs> she got in the mix because um imagine they were doing a rehearsal for the wager tax i don't know what's funny but elebaye started laughing and orel took offense she said why would elebaye be laughing at them when they were working hard rehearsing for the wager tax orel um, took offense and said that she's not going to take that the laugh was a mockery and all that but two minutes later orel started crying because of what elebaye did for her laughing for me it was a crocodile test because elebaye already apologized immediately and orel say she didn't like the fact that she was laughing Orel was still shouting and ranting and doing all that two minutes later she started crying we all know how Orel is she always cries like that was how she was last season but all these things is still making me think that these people just want to trend these people just want highlights they just want drama but some of the dramas they are picking up is very very unnecessary like last night was a whole lot a whole whole lot and cross complained to Perry that um he is mentally tired that he's a baby boy but these people are stressing him out like with their beef and everything Perry also agreed that um he is also tired and all that cross told them that venita was lucky like after venita and Perry fight cross told them that venita was lucky that Perry is not the head of house that if Perry was the head of house that he is going to seize all their duvet like they will sleep cold at night because you cannot just you know insult the emblem on Perry's neck you can insult Perry as a person but when Perry is the head of house you dare not insult the emblem on his neck and that is why cc and white money was straightforward with adekunle they called adekunle out like why why is you are the head of house you need to say something you, you need to do something you need to put the house in all that you're doing a great job but still yet you're not addressing the chaos and the house why are you not doing the hoh you need to step up and this is one thing that perry has noticed Perez said that if you watch last season, the level of season, if you see how Adekunle behaved, you will know that the Adekunle you're seeing in Ulster is just a mirage. Like, he's just pretending. He is just trying to please everybody. He is just trying to be in the good book of everybody because the Adekunle he knew will not behave like this, okay? So, Pere is now targeting Adekule because to Pere, Adekule is pretending. To Pere, Adekule is just playing safe. To Pere, Adekule is just playing his game and people and he is even angry that the housemates don't see it he's angry that the housemates are praising him he's saying like like why are you people not seeing what i'm seeing but he is really you know calculating the strategy and everything but somebody that have noticed something is mcc um, and white money they really um approached adekule one-on-one and addressed his fuck up like why why are you allowing these people to do like this the house is not organized fights here and there 
no punishment the wager is still not organized and i remember what um Messi told um biggie when biggie asked her of the wager tax what do you think about your wager tax Messi said zero zero prayers zero zero prayers <laughs> They need prayers so to win this tax. And another thing that got Perry angry with the housemate is them wasting food. They cook too much. They eat too much. One person eating six times in a day, five times in a day. Like it's very unnecessary. And Perry really have a point. Let's just forget that he is whole gra gra and all. He have the point there. They don't know the outcome of the wager, whether they're going to win the wager or not. So it is just wise that they minimize the consumption of the food and wastage and save the food in case they lose the wager so that they will not go on hunger strike the following week. Anyway, guys, I don't know what you feel or think about this whole buzz buzz happening in Biggie's house. Are you feeling the drama? Is it entertaining you? Is the highlight highlighting or is just some highlights are just very unnecessary? Let me know what you think about Venita and um, Paris fight, Orel and Elebae's fight, CC and Alice fight. Which is more entertaining? Which highlight did you enjoy more? Was the fight even necessary in the first place? Do you think they are pretending? Do you think they are doing it just for the highlights? Thank you and God bless you for watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up. Love you guys.